Hey guys. Hey. We are uh, Angel. And Kaylee. Uh, we're from Wayne Rome Travels. We sold everything about seven months ago. Um, we're originally from Montana. Uh, we own a house, we bought a house three years ago and we own two restaurants there. Um, just the overload of work that we're doing, over 100 hours a week owning two restaurants between the two of us trying to manage a staff of uh, 15 plus people. It just got to us and one day we just pinched the idea to Kaylee and told her um, we're gonna sell everything and we're I going. said no way <laughs> he wanted to travel around at in a, first a motorhome yeah and I said no way this that's a horrible idea no. that doesn't sound great at all but uh, the more we researched the more we looked around we found other vloggers who were doing something similar mm -hmm. uh, it looked pretty good yeah downsizing taking uh, getting rid of all the junk that we've accumulated for the last 80 years we've been together uh, well, 11 years at the time we've been together, but in the same spot we've been for seven years since we opened the restaurant and we just keep dragging things all over the country and just accumulating more stuff that we didn't need uh, type deal. So we sold everything, our house, our three car, four cars that we had and uh, decided to buy an RV and hit the road and that's what we did. We left our home in Montana in September with our motor home. It's a 38 foot class A. Um, nice and spacious, which is what we thought we needed. Um, but seven months later, we feel like we could go even smaller. But we started in Montana. We went all the way down the West Coast. Um, had a few side tracks. We broke down a couple of times, but we ended up getting all the way to California. We went all the way through the South, across Texas, Louisiana, down to the tip of Florida, um, and then we started back up the East Coast. And so we are currently in um, the Washington D.C. area, kind of exploring the area around D.C., Virginia, and the Chesapeake Bay. It's beautiful. It's where we are now. We're right on the beach at the Chesapeake Bay with our kids. We have three kids: Fiona, Hugo, and Remy. They're ages 11, 6, and 3. Um, that's why we have such a big RV. <laughs> uh, and so we're heading up the East Coast now, uh, all the way to Maine, and then we have just about two months left in our trip before we start uh, getting all the way back to Montana to plan for our next trip. For our next trip um, around the world, we're leaving end of July, hopefully, um, and we're going to travel first in Europe, we're going to do Asia after that, and then South America, and maybe New Zealand, Australia, if uh, we have money and time left. <laughs> <laughs> That's our plan. Uh, originally we wanted to do this in Airbnb style but we decided that it's cheaper to just rent a van so we're gonna go from a class A into a like a sprinter van to like a class B type deal motorhome. Uh, where we can park anywhere and go anywhere. Yeah, we're looking to um, either buy one here or buy one when we get over to Europe. Angel's mm -hmm. a European citizen, so that cuts some of the, some of the hecticness out of it mm -hmm. for us. So we're gonna um, buy a Sprinter van. Maybe it'll already be remodeled, maybe not. We might do it ourselves. Yep. And then, um, it'd be kind of wild with three kids, but we're gonna travel around mm -hmm. Europe for three to four months in mm -hmm. the van, trying to see as much as we possibly can see. Um, we really want to not just see the touristy things, we really want to get involved in the culture, mm -hmm. um, which is part of why we're doing this trip. Because Angel is a chef, and I'm a sommelier, uh, and the big impetus for this trip, uh, other than spending time with our kids and getting out of the 100 hour work week, mm -hmm. was for us to explore and um, explore new avenues, to learn about food and wine, to go to the places, uh, to eat at great restaurants, to go to wineries, um, all over the world. And I think the ultimate goal is to be able to publish some sort of cookbook at the end um, as kind of a, an amalgamation of all the, the cultures and the recipes and the people we've met. Um, that's the kind of the, the final goal. What's your favorite place yeah. you've visited so far? Oh, I like Orlando stuff. and... I like Florida. Disney World. And San Francisco. Disney World. I really liked being um, in the White Sands in New Mexico. That was lots of fun. Yeah. What did you do there? Uh, we slid down the dunes with sleds that we rented. How is it different from when you lived in your house and we were with the restaurant all the time? We never got to see yeah. uh, mom and dad and mm -hmm. they were always gone. Just like yeah. always gone. Well now we see them all the time and we're always in the same room. Uh, we used to get up early in the morning. We would put, get our kids off to school, preschool, all kinds of things like that. And then we would get uh, get to work, maybe 10, 10.30 in the morning. We had two restaurants, um, 30 employees. We would spend all day working. Um, usually had a full-time nanny. We would get in home. In the summer months. Yeah, we'd get home 11 o'clock, midnight, uh, go to sleep, see our kids the next morning for a few minutes and go back to work. We did that straight for seven years um, and about six years into it we decided enough was enough we weren't spending time with our kids 
Um, so we decided that it was time to, to downsize and to, to do something else that let us spend time with our kids. The lifestyle is really exceptional. We get to go where we want, when we want, yeah. um, see the things that I think we've been wanting to see for a long time. We just went to Washington, D.C. yesterday. It's really, it's really great, and we get to introduce the kids to um, American history, and they get mm -hmm. to see it firsthand and really experience. Um, you can read about Virginia in a book, in the American Revolution, or you can go to the American Revolution Revolutionary Museum in Virginia, and mm -hmm. I think it really puts it all in place for them and gives them good yes. perspective. Um, and then next year, as we go around the world, um, you know, you can read about India or you know Thailand, but to be mm -hmm. there is you know really changes everything yeah. for you. So that's part of. Part of it um, for us about food and wine and then taking the kids around the world to really give them first-hand mm. experience on what other people live like. It's becoming more common in the younger generation too because this lifestyle, traveling around RV, it's mostly when you've done everything and you retired. So <laughs> in the United us, States anyways. Yeah, in the United yeah. States and stuff. So we've been uh, lucky enough that we work hard and we're able to save money and be able to do this lifestyle at such an early We're mm -hmm. Both of us 33. Well, I'm 33 and she's 32. Almost 33. Yeah, almost 33. And we have three children. So we started life uh, with 21. We had our first kid, Fiona, and uh, yeah. we started a little bit young. So a little bit ahead of the game. Uh, but we were working so much. Mm -hmm. We just, we got, to, we were very successful. The restaurants were um, really successful. We were making a lot of money mm -hmm. um, and it didn't, it didn't feel like it was, it didn't feel like it was the right path for us. We were, mm -hmm. you know, buying more things and we had more debt and we were yeah. accruing more stress more mm -hmm. than anything and yeah. it just didn't feel like that's what we were meant to be yeah. doing. Because when we met, we met in Italy, we met in Rome, um, he was working in restaurants and mm -hmm. I was a student and we had nothing. We just had yeah. each other and life and all the experiences it threw at us mm -hmm. um, and somehow it sort of amassed into this big stressful yeah. um, way to make money. Yeah, it was definitely the road to like a secure lifestyle and mm. like, uh, yeah. retiring pretty much like we could see but we're like is this it? We could take that yearly trip like we were or we went to Greece a couple of years after we were on the restaurant for two weeks but we couldn't uh, we didn't bring the kids and uh, yeah. it, there's this pressure to to be successful mm -hmm. um, and I think success is often defined for you in particular in the United States by having money having security having mm -hmm. material possessions um, and uh, not just us, but there is a culture of people who are stepping away from that um, and really looking for experiences to fill the voids rather than uh, material things. Um, and I think we found just in a short time, in seven months, that uh, we made the right choice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't, I don't sure. regret anything we sold. I don't regret the, no, we the don't. loss of possessions yeah. or the house or the cars. I don't miss any of it. In fact, I can't remember most of what we sold. After we sold, it was like a big revelation. It was like we're miss we had been missing part of our life. Uh, now we wake up in the morning at a regular time and we get to make breakfast with the kids. And uh, after that, Kaylee starts homeschooling with them. Um, so we'll do lots of book work, math, things like that. Uh, we'll do Italian, we'll do Greek mythology, we'll do um, you know computer you know things, typing, stuff like that. And then we'll uh, stagger that with museums and parks and the beach and all of it kind of counts. And it's uh, interest led. We let them sort of pick and choose what they're really interested in. Mm -hmm. um, right now, they're really interested in astronomy. They've learned a lot of things uh, about constellations and moons and stars and planets. So they're really into that. They're into uh, rocks. They've got a monstrous rock collection. So it's been really fun for us. Um, and I think it's been fun for them. I think the only hard part for them is maybe that um, they miss their friends. Yeah, what's one of your favorite things about traveling full time? <coughs> uh, we get to see new good places. Do you guys like tasting new food? What are some new things you've tried? Um, I like pêche. Fish in Italian, which is what in English? <laughs> fish. <laughs> Any types of fish that you've tried that you really enjoyed? Um, uh, oysters. Oysters. Should have the kids travel full time in an RV? Yeah. Um, yeah. But you have to be able to like your family a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Who's this fella? Do you like living in the RV? Yes. Yes. Remy, what's your favorite color? A red and blue. What's your favorite food? Uh, I forgot. You forgot. Red. <laughs> Red and blue and green. The best thing about the traveling full time for us has been the uh, you know the the proximity of each other and sometimes we drive each other crazy being in such a uh, going from like a 3600 for a square, uh, square feet home to an RV which is 250 
uh, has been, you know, but the whole point about this is spending time outside and seeing things and there's been straight weeks or rainy days and stuff. That but might be the worst part about it, maybe, is yeah. just um, not having your own private space mm -hmm. yeah. um, and your own time to be on your own. Because mm -hmm. um, I think everyone needs just, you know, an hour here and there just yeah. to sort of relax. But even the house, the kids will find you. Yeah, <laughs> <Right. laughs> <So it's not laughs> Everything was thrown at us like the restaurants and everything and now we gave all that up for something different and who knows what our next step is going to be watch how we learn both through books and by actually seeing and doing the world is our school the world is our oyster so join us as we discover the sights sounds and beauties of the world around us